All right, first things first, we're gonna get up and we're gonna go straight to wash up. Brush your teeth, wash your face, and if you do have to take a quick rinse, then do that. But I find that taking my showers at night so much better, so much more convenient because in the morning I just have to freshen up really quickly and not have to worry about being in the shower while my child is sleeping and not missing any cries. And also I think a smart thing to do is try not to be in the shower while you're home alone with your child because you just never know. You never know who might show up and you kind of always just want to be on alert. And do make sure that you are getting dressed even if that's just changing into a fresh pair of pajamas. I have created this video not only to motivate you to do this, but also be an encouragement to myself. I tell y'all the truth when I say that helping y'all get through motherhood is helping me get through motherhood too. If you let the cycle of being unproductive go for a couple of days, it can roll into the next week and the next thing you know it, it goes into the next month. So we have to keep it in check. And if we're not careful, our hygiene can suffer and our home will suffer as well. In my honest opinion, I feel that if we're stuck in the same unproductive routine day after day, that is going to lead to burnout more than having a set routine, even if it's doing the same thing every day, doing a load of laundry, washing the dishes, even if it looks the same, I feel that it's going to make us feel a lot more accomplished than doing nothing. But about this being ready, just being ready is being prepared for whatever the day throws at you. For example, I didn't pick up my children from school the other day. I completely forgot that it was my turn to pick them up. I know what you're thinking, um, uh, how neglectful, but it happens and I ran out the door however I was dressed. And let me tell you, that was embarrassing. And they were probably thinking, wow, this lady just rolled out of bed and that was far from it. So just learn from my experience. All right, now the next thing I will tell you to do is make yourself breakfast, even if it's something small. If you have been here for a while, you may already know that I am not the biggest breakfast fan. So this is where I struggle on the daily. However, if it's pancakes or waffles, you know I'm all for it. I just find that if it's just me and my toddler at home, I'm more inclined to make him breakfast and for me, I'm good with a cup of coffee. But that's definitely not nourishing my body and I'm not fueling myself with the energy that I need to sustain me. I do notice that when I don't eat something, I do feel lethargic and even nauseated to the point where I really don't want to do anything and I just want to lay down all day. planning okay the to-do list i am guilty i don't do this all the time but i encourage you because i find that when i do write a list of tasks that i want to achieve that day it feels so much better when i'm crossing them out through the day even if i don't get through the whole list and it doesn't have to be this long list of tedious things it can be just a small list of things that you need to get done in the home definitely want to pick chores that are going to be realistic to your schedule to your family's schedule and chores that are going to be manageable to you and your capabilities you know what you're going through i don't know what you may be physically going through and you just need to be considerate of what you can do physically i don't want you to go and hurt yourself even if it's something like sorting through junk mail something where you can sit down it doesn't have to be a very big task y'all it really doesn't looking around at the mess that we're living in can easily make us feel discouraged we can get stuck in a rut of doing nothing and honestly feeling nothing while being home is such a blessing we can't lie to ourselves and to each other and say that it can't also be consuming at times even if we don't have time or money for the whole self-care that you see online I think just having a simple routine for yourself is going to make you feel so refreshed. And please do not underestimate the power of the word of God and worship in his time that will just bring you into a place of peace and contentment and just have your cup overflowing. And please take note on my channel, self-care isn't just about the physical needs that we have because let's face it, our bodies, we live in a broken world, a fallen world, our bodies are going to give out on us. And if we are not taking care of number one, our souls, then we're doing such an injustice to us and to the God who created us. 
So number one, our souls, and number two, our physical bodies. Man cannot live on bread alone. So even more important than breakfast, even more important than drinking your water, replenish your soul. If you have a small child in the home, please be attentive to their needs. Yes, it's important to be diligent in our homes, to have a clean environment, and try to get ourselves together and organized. But y'all, let's try our best to just be patient with them and know that these times are not going to last forever. One day, we are going to have those squeaky clean homes, and we're going to miss so much. Don't cry. <laughs> We're going to miss the little tugging on our shirts and the little babbling and the little footsteps running through the hallway. So use your time on this earth wisely with your children as well. Or like, you know, when you're trying to get dinner done and you're getting these interruptions from the little voices sitting at the dining table saying, Mom, can you help me with this math question? Or Mom, will you read this with me? what baby oh your pants fall down <laughs> or there you go an example when you're trying to do voiceovers and your toddler <laughs> needs you um you know one thing that i don't get is when especially moms that have youtube channels say i'm sorry if you can hear the kids in the background don't ever be sorry because one that's your channel and two that's your life what do people expect i mean especially if you are a mom online you're gonna have noises in the back and you know what a lot of the times from what i've read to a lot of people love hearing the noise especially older women that are watching they miss that and they will testify to that that they miss the giggles and stop crying mama <laughs> uh, you just don't know y'all you don't know how much time you have on this earth you don't know what the next day will bring and that is why time is such a gift not to be taken for granted the toys that are scattered through the living room pouring into the hallway into each room will one day be put in a toy box to never be brought back out think about that the handprints of peanut butter that are covering your white cabinets will only be that small for a short amount of time these moments will be gone in a blink and no amount of money no amount of reminiscing will ever be able to get them back. So be grateful and thankful for the time that Jesus has blessed you and bring yourself up and out into a place of joy that God has freely given you. Joy not based on circumstances of this world, but on who holds the world in his hands. And you know what, even in my video where I'm trying to help you be productive, I wasn't even able to get through my list. And that's because I didn't have many things on my list. But I did as much as I could, did not get to the mopping, but I was diligent in my heart and also with my hands. Remember to be diligent in seeking the Lord today. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hit the like button if you like this video and comment down below what your favorite part of the video was. And subscribe to Mom's channel. Bye.